ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लासरूम लर्निंग सो आई होप यू हैव अटेंडेड एस्टरडेज लेसन ऑफ लेसन टू वेर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग वन वन फंक्शंस एंड अन टू फंक्शंस सो टुडे वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू लेसन थ्री टॉपिक इज कंपोजिशन ऑफ फंक्शंस so let us first understand what is the meaning of the word composition for example when we are discussing regarding uh, cbse exam suppose so you are been allotted a roll number and uh, suppose this is your roll numbers roll number 1 2 3 and roll number 1 is allotted to a roll number 2 is allotted to b and uh, roll number 3 is allotted to c now after your exam is over it goes to the secrecy center and one fixes roll number is allotted so a has been allotted suppose a fixes roll number of a01 fixes roll number of a02 c is allotted fixes roll number of a03 so but after the results we need to reconnect this with this because everything is determined on the basis of your roll numbers this is your roll number and this is the student so that means we need to have a connection between these to this so this is called a comma we need to compose from the first set to the third set so uh, when we are talking about the composition of functions we need three sets at least so look at this suppose i have a set called a b and c a to b i define a function f and b to c i define a function z then i define a function from c to a as f of g of x that is f of g to x so we do not write generally brackets we write f of o means of similarly uh, we can compose another in another way like g of f of x so most of the function which we see in our day to day life they are composition of functions so for example uh, uh, you can see there is presence of one or uh, more functions so uh, i have suppose a and uh, set a has the elements 1 2 3 set b has the element a b c and set c has the element 7 8 9 and i connect it in this way f and this is g so i have f of 1 equals to a f of 2 equals to b f of 3 equals to c now g of a it is equal to 7 g of b it is equal to 8 and g of c it is equal to 9 so uh, when i talk about composition suppose i want to know what is Uh, g of f of 1 let us see that so i'll write it like this in place of of i will first remove it by brackets f of 1 so it is g of f of 1 that is a which is equal to 7 similarly g of f of 2 will be equal to g of remove it by bracket write f of 2 g of f of 2 it is nothing but b so f of b actually uh, g of b it is equal to 8 and similarly g of f of 3 will be equal to g of f of 3 it is equal to g of c and g of c it is nothing but equal to 9 so in this way we can define uh, so many functions or find the gof of many functions so if i am asking you in this case define gof 
so here you define like this graph g of f it is nothing but the set containing first 1 comma 7 second element will be 2 comma 8 and the third element will be 3 comma 9 so this is called composition g of f of x now you can see when I write g of f I am moving from first set to the third so then we can form the definition in this way let us write the formal definition now let f be a function from a to b g be a function from b to c then we define a function like the reverse one g of f as a function from a to c so it will be more clear if I take some algebraic questions for example I will give you fx equals to x plus 1 g of x it is equal to x square I am asking you find f of g and g of f so nothing is mentioned first uh, that means f of g of x and g of f of x you have to find so f of g of x first you remove it like this then f of g of x it is x square now f of x is x plus 1 so look at this you read it f of anything is that thing plus 1 f of elephant even I, if I write here it will be elephant plus 1 hence f of x square is nothing but square of x plus 1 so this is our f of x f of g of x and g of f of x is defined as g you define like this g of f of x which is equal to g of x plus 1 g of x you can see that is x square g of t will be t square k will be k square and g of x plus 1 it is nothing but x plus 1 whole square so you can clearly see they are not same f of g is not equal to g of f so uh, we can compose it like this now suppose I write f of x it is equal to uh, x plus 7 by x minus 7 g of x is x minus 7 divided by f x plus 7 so I need to find f of g of x so you remove it first f of g of x that is you remove it by brackets f of this is nothing but x minus 7 by x plus 7 so wherever you are having x you remove it by this number that is x minus 7 in place of x you write it like this plus 7 because our f is defined in this manner whole divided by this one will be x minus 7 by x plus 7 plus 7 so if I remove the brackets this will be x minus 7 plus 7x plus 49 divided by x minus 7 plus 7x plus 49 so if I simplify this this is 8x plus 42 and this is also 8x I think we are getting somewhere wrong uh, 7x plus uh, 8x plus 42 which is equal to if they are getting cancelled 8x plus 42 divided by 8x plus 42 which is equal to this one so in the this one we are getting wrong it will be minus and it will be minus 7x minus 49 so in that case it will be minus 6x and uh, minus plus 56 or minus 56 in fact so this will make it minus 56 so in this way I can find f of g and g of f 
x. Let us take some more examples. Suppose I will have f of x, it is equal to 8x cube and g of x is 2x to the power 1 by 3. So, I am asked to find f of g of x, that is f of g of x, f of, in place of g of f, x, you write this one. Now, 8 into, in place of x, you write this one, 2 x to the power 1 by 3 whole to the power 3. So, here you see f of anything is 8 times that number, cube of that number. So, I can write 8 into, this is 8 into x which is equal to 64 x. Now, if I write here, suppose g of x, let us find g of x. So, if I write here g of x, then it is g of f of x, that is equal to g of, uh, in place of f of x, you just write 8 times x cube, that is g of 8 times x cube, wherever it is x, we write 8 x cube, so it is 8 x cube to the power 1 by 3, so 2 into, this is 2 into x, which is equal to 4x. So, these are some important questions regarding f, f of g and g of f, f. Now, sometimes the questions shall be asked in a twisted manner. Twisted manner in the sense that write two functions such that f of g and g of x, question will be, write two functions f of x and g of x such that f of g of x will be equal to cos of x square. So, you can clearly see first function is cos and second function is x square. So, uh, you take this one, you start from the beginning, you take f of x, it is equal to cos x, first you take like this, let us see, and g of x is nothing but square of x. Now, let us compose, f of g of x, <coughs> it is equal to f of x square. Now, f of x, we are having cos x, so f of x square will be nothing but cos of x square. So, these are some of the questions and you, uh, I will assign you some of the questions, you solve it, then we will proceed for uh, your inverse functions, how to find the inverse of a function using the composition of a function. So, I think this uh, content is clear to you, just very algebraic in nature and try to solve your homework and we will come back later on. Thank you, thank you very much.